How's it going everybody? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Gatsby and WordPress and how their performance compares to one another, where the pros and cons are, etc. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of all of my weekly WordPress tutorials. All right, let's jump into it. All right, let's jump into it. So I've got a uh, two sites here. The one on the left is our default WordPress site that's just running on PHP. And the one on the right is our headless WordPress setup where it's utilizing Gatsby. So there are two aspects of performance that I wanna talk about here. Number one is the visual aspect and number two is the actual numbers. So we're gonna be kind of looking at a small use case here of each, but I feel like these will illustrate the point pretty nicely. So. Each of these tabs is throttled to a 3G connection and I'm going to empty the cache and hard reload on both of them to kind of show us visually how these uh, pieces of content will be treated. So the one on the left is you've got this uh, kind of jerking around of the page, I guess you could say, where the images weren't loaded and all of these text blocks were uh, kind of stacked really close to each other. And then when the image is loaded, they popped up. So that kind of gives, if you've ever been scrolling on like a phone or whatever, and you start to scroll and then all of a sudden, like things start popping up, like images and ads start loading in. And then all of a sudden you've lost your place. Well, that doesn't really happen on the Gatsby side. If we were to actually refresh this again, we're going to get um, these blurred placeholders that give us the exact size that those images are going to be so that content jump doesn't happen provides a much better user experience and gives you like the visual that oh something's coming i should probably wait around to see what it is so on a slow connection these are actually pretty quick um, the downside with the wordpress one is just what we talked about it's kind of a worse user experience so back to like raw numbers now so I've got GT metrics pulled up for both of these. This first one is for WordPress and the second one is for Gatsby. So the first one for WordPress, let's take a look at the waterfall chart. There's a couple things that are going on here that are pretty nasty. The first one is, is that it's blocking a lot of resources. We have just a couple things that are just coming in from WordPress by default, like emojis and the embed and the comment reply. Like we're using none of that on this page, but we're paying for it. Um, we've also got a bunch of JavaScript files, uh, animations from uh, a bunch of CSS files. So we have like four CSS files and things like that. So with WordPress, you're kind of given this sandbox where you can do great things with it, but you also have a lot of power to kind of mess things up and overloading your page with unnecessary CSS and JavaScript actually accounts for quite a bit. Whereas over here with our performance report with Gatsby, that blocking, that brown uh, block is almost next to nothing, right? So the tree shaking and the minifying and the bundling of all the stuff that Gatsby kind of holds your hands with is actually quite nice. So there is that kind of a, a benefit as well. So on top of that, uh, the images that we're getting from our, uh, Gatsby image sharp that we kind of did in the last video is coming into play here too. Where we've got a much bigger block where we're actually like receiving these, these big images uh, down from the server. So if you see these four images here, that receiving part is quite big and it's quite small over here in Gatsby. And why is that? Well, we're got um, optimized images as far as our um, format goes. So one thing that we did inside of Gatsby is we changed their format from being a uh, straight up JPEG to a WebP. This is a next gen format that actually makes things much faster. And so we've got that and we've got these awesome like optimized images that we ran through image sharp. So we've got, um, we're only serving what we need to. And with, with uh, WordPress, you kind of have that issue. You don't switch what the, what the ex file extension is, but you can load a medium size image or a thumbnail size image or a large size image if it's like a banner or something like that. But you're not getting that compression and stuff like that out of the box. So it, uh, Elementor or Gatsby really holds your hand in that kind of area. So the 
the actual assets that we're downloading are smaller and that is reflected in our overall page size. If we were to look at here, um, that's 370 kilobytes for our Gatsby site and 523 for our WordPress site. So why is that a big deal? Well, if we look at this on a larger scale, then you can start to see, well, if I have lots of images on my page and I have lots of things going on, that's where the bundling of Gatsby and the image optimization of Gatsby is really going to show itself because you know, what if we doubled and tripled and quadrupled the amount of content on that page? We're just going to see that gap just get bigger and bigger. So all in all, I think that Gatsby gives you just a little bit more than what you're going to get out of WordPress just out of the box. Uh, with WordPress, you can install caching plugins like WP Rocket, which there's a link in the description for that. But there is just things that Gatsby just gives you out of the box that I feel like are just much better. And doing all of that caching ahead of time on your own computer or your build process is just going to give the user a much better user experience overall. So if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and subscribe if you are new here. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate the support and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for being quiet during that. Thank you. This is my daughter, Ava. She was born a couple months ago. She's been helping me out with my videos. Say goodbye. Goodbye.